Our bodies are staged all together there in the acid black space called Leviathan, in the acid black theater called Collective, turning and melting. Yes, certainly we are consumed by something bestial. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. The following is essential information. Tonight, the role of heroine will be played by a blonde girl, pear-shaped and vomited out of the Bible Belt on the back of a fruit truck, singing all the while. Don't ask me how she got here. You don't want to know. Along the way, she lost someone, but she won't miss him much longer, I'm sure. I'll make sure. In regards to the role, she's what you might call excessive. That is, she's in possession of a number of unnecessary organs like eyes and tongues of flame with the tendency to rim the red edges of her tattling mouth. She's unsympathetic, to say the least. I'll change that. I'll change her. That is, I'll core and peel her consciousness, tongue touch the taste right into her until she can tell the difference between Siegfried and the pleasure of God long before she ever hears them. I'll dress myself a damsel. I'll eat myself a damsel in distress. And then the stage, of course, will play itself out on the very edges of the earth, if you can even conceive of an earth in the end. I'll do the talking for it. Oh, all the roiling, endless darkness heaving up and heaving, the tendrils laced to lurch, the sound singing in the sidelong sultry glances, yes, the feathers all falling down. And the symbolism tonight will be told to the fullest for you. In regards to the role, he's what you might call not there. He's what you might call a site of transformation. That is, he was a rock-boring river rat when I found him, and now he's full of a set of pre-supplied natural sugar-spun dreams well-preserved. I'll rectify the issue. I'll turn the water into wine. I found that body. It's mine. I exhumed it, blew the dust off, ticked the last traces of deposit and all the long scars of erosion. I faceted him. I fascinated him until she arrived, all according to the preconceived production plan, and now the curtain rises. What symmetry, what tragedy, what abomination I vexed to violence. It will move heaven and earth, just wait. And you, my darling audience, keep watching. The first act, a hand is used to fill the radial channel of her spine. The stage is barren. The stage is a barren pane of glass through which faint lamps, the shades of deep water bioluminescence are shining. Everywhere trap doors with hidden hinges for the swift removal of her body, or his. Only she has not met him yet, might never. Everywhere her feet to touch faint prints are left behind, so pure in quality the number of pores along the loop wall minutia of her toes can be counted, developed. For the final act, somewhere, the leucocrystal violet vials. That is, she crosses the stage on the bony parts of her feet. She crosses the stage and stands shaking in the limelight, the center light lime fluorescent colored. Pre-selected, the audience sits still watching. The audience watches still, every fleshy face turned a quarter moon toward her, all in funeral veils, or their opera coats, black, always folded, skin-like, over their arms. They predate her, antidiluvian. Who knows what they auditioned, or how, or where the smell of clotted collagen white blood comes from exactly that makes her bottom lip drag itself in? No lids anymore, all the sedimenting balcony layers of men, women, <laughs> wide-eyed and waiting. Everywhere the faint, indescribable droning of voices from no particular mouths. She says, my name is some unintelligible thing. Again, she says, my name is, I didn't ask. Both of her elbows bury themselves conical taproot in the dry, dark planes of her palms recursive all together. Like no one else blinking in the, back, in the black box, she watches the white seat, the director. There is no body there. There is no body there, but the space is filled, multifaceted, reflecting the great revolving revelry of sound, sucking inward every note, every sharp, every shriek, evening to a rise, falling roar, expulsive song, or the noise, the perpetual motion, harmony, eating machine, laughing. Gull cry hands crossed. A concussive flicker in the corner of her conscious, but no permission to look away. The maelstrom, the monster, the honor and glory. A condescending piteous smile made from the clapping of pigeon's wings. A falcon scream cursory eye. What will you sing? She says, Alleluia. 
She says, Alleluia, Alleluia. <laughs> she says, Alleluia, and the sound expands in her throat, upward boiling, caramelized, unimaginably nectar red over her tongue and out to all the theater willing, frothing sweet at the corners of her mouth, tenderized in the dark corners the amino black stage, echoing ambrosia and clear all over. You'll do. Everywhere, the faint, frenzied droning of voices from no particular mouths. <laughs>